Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for November 10th, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, there's a five in one of these two because these two fives look into this box. We have two eights that look in here, so there's an eight in one of these two. And as I scanned down, I noticed we have a lot of repeats here, so let's just fill those now because we get the six for free. That's a hidden six in the box. And then now we have a seven over here. We have a one over here. Um, five, six, one, four. Four is over here. <laughs> um, six, seven, four, seven, five, six, one. Okay, that's it. But that's a lot of quarter marks. <laughs> so anyway, um, no other repeats here. Let's look for crossings. Um. One or five? No? Okay, I, that's all. Okay, let's move on. There's no repeats here either. I'm very suspicious of this cell though, because look how many cells it, look how many digits it sees um, in addition to the row. So what can it actually, actually I'm just going to do the whole row. The whole row needs a three, a four, a five, and a nine. That is, yeah, that's Look at this, it's, it cleans up quite nicely. But I don't think it actually resolves anything. The five is here. Okay, so that's actually really nice. So this is a really good way of spotting um, hidden singles or claiming, depending on the situation. Um, but it'll, it'll spot you something nice as long as this digit isn't already in the other box. So some might call this an X-wing, some might call this kind of an X-wing, some call this like lining up. Uh, I would call this a hidden single in column six, but whatever floats your boat. Um, a good way to spot it, though, regardless of how you think about it, is in two boxes, a digit has been limited in some way both to not appear in one of the columns, the same column in both boxes. So they kind of line up, in this case, in columns four and five. So we want to think about where in column six the five can go, and the answer is it can only go here. So we can place the five there. Um, what that does is, I mean, even if, even if you couldn't place the five here, it would be limited to column six. And so that, what that would do is eliminate five from the rest of these cells here. Um, these lining up, we get two, there are two fives here. We only get two fives in these columns. So these aren't going to be five. Lots of ways to think about that. Think about it however you want, whatever makes the most sense for you and whatever you'll remember and look out for. All right. So there's a seven down there. Um, I am fully of the opinion, sorry, there's a one here because four ones look into the box. Um, I'm fully of the opinion that what matters more is understanding the logic than a, understanding it in a specific way. Um, so I always try to explain logic in different ways because sometimes some, some way will make it click that another way didn't. I'm just going to fill this column because it has three left. We need four, six, and seven. And so this can't be the four or the seven, so that's the six. Naked single. Um, what am I seeing? Oh, I'm seeing fives here, or here. I guess, did I finish scanning up here? I mean, I feel like I shouldn't have, but I think I did. I don't know if what I said makes any sense at all. Oh, but what I am seeing is this five, six looking into this box. There's actually only two cells left in the box that can have five, six, so they must have five, six. Actually, we have a, if we think about it further, we have this six looking in. So six is actually just a hidden single there, and then five is there. But even if it wasn't, they would have been a hidden pair. Um, three, four, and eight go here. You can clean up the four at the top. This is going very smoothly. I'm gonna fill this, uh, this column as well. We need two uh two seven nine i'm not seeing much just that seven okay um let's let's finish scanning real quick i think i'm almost done with scanning um and then there's a lot of places where i can look for restricted cells let's find the easy stuff first yeah so this two looks down this two looks in so there's a two and one of these two I don't think I really truly followed up on some of these. Um, yeah, so like the ones here I didn't follow up on. So there's a one, one of these two. 
uh, fours. Oh, fours, I should have followed up on. These fours point down, this four looks down, and this four looks in. So there's a four exactly here. That does put a four in one of these two as well. Um, three looks into this box now, it puts a three in one of these two. That's going to point up. Um, that puts a three over here, which then puts a three somewhere in here. Okay. So that's a nine, that's a one-three pair. Yeah, this can't be one or three. What can it be? It can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's down to eight or nine. Okay. This is one three eight. This is any of one three eight nine, I think. Alright. Uh I just said I was gonna finish scanning, and I keep finding things that don't have to do with scanning. Okay, so this six looks in, so there's a six here, and then we want to follow through. And put a six one of these two. Oh wait, this six looks down as well. Yep, so we can place the six in this box. Um, seven looks in, so there's a seven over here. Those two sevens look in. This seven looks down. That places the seven in this box. That means that's not a seven. Um, five four one. These are um, two eight nine. I'm going to fill that. I'm looking for... I don't know, let's look vertically here. Ones, okay, fives, ones, sixes. Fives, ones, and sixes are all done. Eights, okay, so eight is in one of these two. Now why can't this be an eight? Oh, because the three, four, eight, triple. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, eight's in one of these two. Got sevens. Ooh, sevens. Sevens look up. That puts a seven here. So this can't be a seven. Um, this box definitely has something going on, but I'll look at it later. Um, yeah, and then this column needs a four. We can see from our corner marks it's only going to go there. And then the last digit for the column is looks like a three. This is the, so that puts the three there, the two there. This is eight or nine. This is also eight or nine. This is two eight or nine. So the two is here. Um, I'm going to fill this. Two, three, four, nine. Okay, I see this two and this three. Oh, and this nine. Okay, let's fill this as well. So we need six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, and then eight, nine can go. Ooh, actually, eight goes here. Okay, doesn't do anything. We already have eights in these boxes. Lots of seven, eight, nines left. Let's see what to do with that. Okay, vertically here, I feel like we already covered. We do have this three looking up, and this is not a. Th oh, we have both threes looking in. That's why. So three is here. <laughs> These all just have threes like this. It's a little bit annoying, but there it is. Uh, threes are over here as well, because I'm just noticing we have this rectangle left, and then we have these left. And then all the other threes are done. Um, okay, let's look vertically here, and then I think just restricted cells are the way to go. Okay, yeah, let's just fill some restricted cells. So we need the one, we have the two, we need the three, we have four, five, six, seven, and we need eight, nine, of course. Um, this can't be the eight or nine. Ooh, actually, this is a naked single. So just to double check, it does see one through pointing. It sees two, uh, three through pointing, four, five, six, seven, and nine. So that's an eight. That's not an eight. That places this eight, which is huge, because it places the seven and the four as well. So that's not a four. This is a one, three, nine, triple. We get the 9 and the 8 here. We get the 7 and the 8, the 9, the 2, the 8. Wow, okay. I will, I don't know if we've cracked the puzzle quite yet, but we're, we're close if it's not already cracked. I'm starting to think it might be. Okay. Uh, we get the 3, the 1, and the 9 here. We get the 4 and the 3 here. Okay. <laughs> it just keeps going. 3 and 4. That's not 3. That's not 4. We get the 1. Uh, this is 3 or 9. 
whoops, not to do that. We need a two and a five here. So we know the order. Very nice. Does that five? This is just a single, that's a two. This is a single, oh, it's a one. This is a pair. We need a two that goes there. We need a six. Gives us the nine and the six. Here we need five and something. Four and five. We know the order. Nine and three, five, and then one and nine are left. And we're done. These puzzles have been pretty straightforward the past few days. Um, I'd like to say I'm getting better, but honestly, like when's the last time we had like a hidden triple from geometry or um, just like a nasty pair that you had to find somewhere? It's all just been like hidden singles, some nice pointing. Uh, there was some there, you know, basically a lot of hidden singles, a lot of pointing uh, in this puzzle. Um, I didn't even find any like sneaky pairs or triples. It just kind of solved. So interesting. I wonder. Um, I mean, when it, whenever it comes to computer generated puzzles, uh, the computer has a, a tough time determining what's going to be um, difficult for a human. So. You, I, I feel like New York Times generally does a decent job generating, but still, you do get these sort of peaks and valleys of difficulty within what techniques it requires. So anyway, let me know how you did on this one as well. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.